Endangered animals. People and animals share the same earth. They have shared it for a long, long time. Once there was enough of everything, enough food and water, enough forest, and jungle, and grassy plain for all the animals and all the people to share. But the number of people is growing. More, more people need more space. Our cities and roads, our fields and factories, and our houses are spinning all over the earth. For some kinds of animals, there is very little space left. Some kinds of animals may disappear. We call them endangered species. Macaws, macaws, and pandas, gorillas, grizzly bears, elephants, and tigers, blue whales, and large co copper butterflies. These are just a few of the, of the species that are endangered. endangered. All these animals need a, a homeland that suits them, where they can be safe to live their lives and raise their young. If you take away too much of their land, the day will come when there are no more of these species alive. We call them extinction. The quagga, a horse that lives in Africa, is extinct. The dudu, the dodo, a big bird that couldn't fly, is also extinct. In the past, few people cared when a species became extinct. Now, many people care. Endangered animals need our help. Endangered animals need laws to protect from them from hunters and other dangers to, to, and to protect the forests and jungles and other wild places. To save a homeland for animals, people must give up things we want for ourselves. When enough, enough people want to do that, wild animals will no longer be endangered. When we save a, a homeland for animals, we also save something wonderful for ourselves, the beautiful natural world.